Hey guys, I am optimizing the download cache for Operation Scarlet Spear, Spear, Spear uh, update 27.3 for Warframe. And while my computer's CPU is hogged up, I'm going to just record a quick video on my phone and talk about my initial impressions of the patch notes. I saw that uh, Digital Extremes made some great changes to impact and to... Uh, gas damage and that's really great that's good to see but they didn't make any changes to viral and I'm already seeing some comments uh, on reddit and on the warframe forums that they didn't do anything with viral and some players myself included are feeling surprised and a little disappointed that they didn't nerf viral now uh, D. Scott was interviewed recently, and he said that he really doesn't like the simulacrum, and uh, he thinks it's not representative of regular gameplay, and he doesn't like it when he sees YouTube videos of people going out there in the simulacrum showing stuff. Uh, I feel guilty of that. I am guilty of that. That's where I test stuff, but I want to kind of bring up a counter-argument here. There are companies that spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on analysts, on quality assurance analysts, on... Um, What's efficiency analysts and, and you know there's a lot of value in having highly analytical highly mathematically inclined people playing your game and this hive mind of analysts that are figuring out the meta for your game because it helps you know what's balanced and what's not balanced now does it suck to be under scrutiny and under the analysis of like all these people yeah it kind of sucks but having the simulacrum is a good testing environment for these people to do what they do and what they do is valuable uh, if you can look at it that way if you can see it that way there's some value there that aside there were some problems with my tests on viral i was using the super vandal and the super vandal has a lot of puncture damage and puncture damage bypasses armor and it creates this multiplier effect with viral that gives viral an unfair advantage when comparing it with corrosive because corrosive reduces armor but the puncture damage is already bypassing it anyway so it doesn't benefit so much from it whereas when you put it with viral they multiply together more effectively so i'm going to run another test all right i intend to run another test guys it's a lot of work making these videos the ones where i'm like testing all the different damage types against all these different enemies but i'm going to do something different instead of using the super vandal I'm planning on using the Stradivar Prime and modding it so it has a nice even spread of impact, puncture, and slash, and then putting corrosive heat, viral heat, magnetic heat, whatever, and um, testing it out against not only Grenier and um, Corpus, but also against Infested and maybe even Sentience as well, because it seems like we're getting more and more sentient enemies in the game, and... From what I'm seeing, and since the veil has been added to the game, and since the anomaly, is that sentience are really weak to corrosive, and perhaps that is what it will take to sort of take viral and put it on a more balanced playing field with corrosive. If sentience enemies continue to have ferrite armor, uh, then it really would help bump corrosive up in its viability across the platform, across all enemy types. I'm also going to take all of the different healths uh, of each enemy, so the infested flesh, the fossilized, the flesh, proto-shield shields, clone flesh, ferrite armor, ally armor, robotic, and creating a pie chart and trying to pick one tanky enemy from each health type and putting them all together so I have a total of about six to eight enemies. Six enemies if it's infested, corpus, and grenier, eight enemies if I include sentience, so two from each uh, faction. And then I'll use that to do my test, and the, the idea behind this test is to figure out what damage types are the best across all races or all factions in the game, and what damage types are best against you know sentience, against grenier, against corpus, against infested. So the meta players, like myself, the meta slaves, know what we want to, what to use, and uh, it can create some interesting discussion. For some people, if D. Scott is watching this, this is our fun. Like we, uh, there's play people like me that are mathematically inclined that just like analyzing data. It, it's fun for us, and I know that like some of the people at D. are like, what? Like why would you like this? That like, we just like doing it. It's just fun for us. 
and my viewers. I've got people who subscribe to me because of my pie charts and shit. Like, they like that stuff. So, there's people that like that. I don't know. It's our version of fun. It's like people who like stats in sports more than watching the sports. You know what? Those people exist. They, they, they live and die for the stats on, the, on their fantasy football teams, but they don't really watch football games. Those, those weird nerds exist, and they exist in Warframe as well. Now, anyway, Operation Scarlet Spear is almost finished optimizing on my computer. I can't wait to get into it and try it out and play it. I'm excited. I still work a 40-hour work week. I'm still really busy, so I don't really have a lot of time to sit down and make these videos, but I've got some ideas for videos coming up. These are notes, actually, from the from last night when I was thinking about and visualizing this video that I wanna that I want to put together more artistic style one kind of like a music video um, and we'll see if I come out with that I'm actually hoping that I do end up in quarantine so that I have lots of time to sit down and make videos and uh, yeah anyway I don't want to ramble on thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next one bye